We have an operator that, that can be remotely located from the robot up to sort of five or six hundred metres away that holds a little controller with a video screen on it. The screen shows live video from the robot and we have two-way audio communication with the robot as well. The, the interface basically directs the, the robot to where it needs to go and you know, enables us to climb stairs, tow vehicles uh, and, and read sensor data remotely. So in a, in a hazardous area we can send the robot in, uh, might be a chlorine leak or a, a smoke filled building, we'll send the robot in we can get some eyes on and find out exactly what's going on, whether there's a, a small leak of chlorine or whether there's um, people that have, that have been, uh, I guess, rendered unconscious in the, in the building that we have to then send people in or, or larger robots in to drag them out. 